Oh, that's a long time ago. This was in '95. On uh, there was a problem with the Grand Prix. Uh, Schumacher was uh, disqualified because after the uh, <clears throat> race, they decided that his fuel was not uh, original and was uh, there was something wrong with the fuel, and then. Uh, they went to the FIA, which is the Federación Internacional de Automobile, and they went to court. And I was asked by Elf, who was delivering the fuel, to be their consultant And uh, during that uh, whole court issue. And in fact, I was able to convince them that uh, the fuel was, was, was the approved fuel, and there was nothing wrong. It was only a question of how I do the analysis and how I do the chromatography. was definitely reversed, not only on my analysis, but also on the expertise of mass spectroscopy. Because there was a discussion of uh, pollution uh, with uh, isopropanol, but I could easily prove that this was not at all uh, possible, that uh, there was no isopropanol at all in the fuel. Well, that was an exciting period, definitely. Uh, it, it was a hot topic in all the newspapers, and. Uh, before television and so on, but very short period. It was a couple of weeks after uh, the uh, court that uh, a lot of people were interesting that the professor was involved in Formula One driving and so on. But we always did uh, analysis of, of petroleum products. Even one of my last students uh, defending her PhD thesis was uh, in South Africa on uh, fissure drop uh, fuels. So purely synthetic fuels, how they can compete with uh, the natural uh, crude oil fuels. So uh, fuel business has always been interesting for us. Mm. Well, yeah, there was a problem in Belgium uh, with uh, the food was uh, contaminated. Uh, first of all, they claimed with dioxins, and indeed there were dioxins. But uh, my contribution was mainly that I could prove that they should not measure the dioxins, but the PCBs, which are the primary source of the dioxins, because dioxin analysis at that time was extremely expensive, and there were no laboratories enough who could perform such analysis. But uh, PCB, so I could make the link between the dioxins and the PCBs, and the PCB analysis was relatively easy, and a lot of laboratories could do that. So uh, it was solving the problem much faster because suppose at the end I think that roughly 100,000 food samples have been analyzed in Belgium and you have to do that for an analysis which takes a couple of days at the price of 2,000 euro per sample. It was extremely high price and, and very long lasting before we had a solution. Well, the media of course, television was here uh, every day uh, during uh, May, June and July, so it was a very hectic period. But as usual, yeah, the uh, recognition comes not from Belgium, but from, uh, from abroad, so... I'm an organic chemist. And analytical chemistry is something special. And definitely chromatography, mass spectroscopy, because the technique is extremely important. We have outstanding collaborations with the industry. Also in the academic world, there is so much to do that all the top scientists in the field are very good friends. We have outstanding meetings. The social events we have are outstanding. And th this makes it so good. I, I, I remember a couple, well, maybe 10 years ago, I was going to a spectroscopic meeting, and, and, and this was a different mentality. You know, it, it, separation science is, 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 is just the opposite of the word. It's, it's unifying so much people to solve problems. I think the highlight is, is, is now, uh, although I'm retired, I, I, I see unbelievable new opportunities in, in the life science, in the biopharmaceuticals, and so the highlight still has to come, I hope so, because I was concentrating on everybody, we were concentrating on, on relatively small molecules, uh, and, and techniques were de developed and are working very good. But uh, sometimes what, what we did in, in, in the past was what I call negative chromatography. 
and more spectroscopy, which means we were solving problems. Environment, we are polluting the environment, we have pesticides in the food and in the wine, and we have all those negative things. But chromatography and mass spectroscopy as life sciences is, is completely different. We look to positive things. We will introduce biodrugs, we will biopharmaceuticals, we will give new opportunity for, for cancer treatment and so on. So I, I start to realize that this this is extremely important. And our field will will be recognized much better because it is it is positive. Eh? Biotech it is in the biochemistry is in a positive direction. Analytical chemistry ten years ago was always negative. It's polluting, it's pesticides, it's it's bad days, it's eh? and now we are definitely going in a in a, in a positive way of doing research and helping humanity.